Sam and Dean, you just keep turning up my two bad pennies. Looks like uh, business is still good. Well, the healthcare system sucks, so I pick up the slack. Making house calls? Sorry? Oh, maybe Hiram Jacobson recommended you to a few of his rich friends. I mean, one gazillionaire trumps a hundred sad sacks in a Kiwanis Hall, am I right? Well, I really can't talk about that. Patient confidentiality. Right. Of course. Sure. In that case, uh, why don't you tell us about the occultum? What about it? We need it. Why? To kill God. <laughs> Turns out that Hail Mary that you and Cass tried, it worked. God's back. He's pissed. And he's gonna murder the world. Unless we stop him. So you want me to be on your side? Against God? I mean, we are better looking. No. I'm not going to make God my enemy. Because he's God. Well, you don't have a choice. You wouldn't. Try us. I don't have it. Then who does? An old friend of yours. Ruby. Wait a second. Why would you give it to her? It's a long story. I was on the road near Topeka. Long days of providing relief to the weak and weary. Alone yet, warmed by the comfort I provided when she found me. Hey. Anything you want to tell me, Joe? Nice vessel. Suits you better than the blonde. Wait a minute. You were friends? God, no. I mean, sometimes we pool our talents, run a job together if the opportunity presented itself. You've been holding out on me. Ruby, I respect our arrangement. Do I butt in when some sap wants his soul back and you agree to return it for a tidy fee? And I'm good with your little bleeding heart sideshow, but I'm talking way bigger than your usual take. The occultum. You've got it. And I can get you a buyer for a taste. And why would I agree to that? Money? Do you have any idea how much that thing's worth? Millions. Now tell me that doesn't appeal to your label whore heart. And then? I gave it to her. She said she had hid it until she contacted the buyer, which she never did because, well, you... Okay, so where is it now? Stashed. By her. In hell. 